Common sayings of lost people, number three, one of my favorite ones, judge not lest ye be judged. I used to listen to Metallica as a um, teenager, and they had a song called Holier Than Thou, and I remember they'd sing, judge not lest ye be judged yourself, you know, and, and, uh, and it's so funny because when you actually read the Bible, the Bible doesn't even say that. King James Bible. I won't speak for the other ones that come from the Vatican, the ESV, the NIV, the NASV, all that garbage. We're talking about the King James Bible, King James Bible believers here. Let's actually go to the text. Matthew chapter 7, verse 1. Judge not that ye be not judged. It doesn't say, lest ye be judged. All right? So, one of my favorite things to do when you get one of these people and they come and they say, hey, judge not lest ye be judged. Just play stupid and just say, the Bible says that? I wasn't aware of that. Oh, where, does it, where does it say that? Can you show me where that verse is, please? And they'll stumble around. Well, I, I'm not really sure. When, you know, it's, it's in there. I know it's in there because I, I heard it. And, and it's, it's, you say, um, I'm not sure where it is. Could you, I mean, please enlighten me. Please. I mean, tell me where judge not lest ye be judged. Uh, show me where it's at. And when they stumble all over themselves or whatever, well, I'm sorry, I don't really know. Just say, let me show you. Matthew chapter 7. Okay? Judge not that ye be not judged. Why? Verse 2. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the mote out of thine own eye, or out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye. Notice, by the way, in context, it's talking about judging brethren. Um, where does the Bible say that we're not supposed to judge lost people? I mean, who else is going to judge them? Uh, should we wait on other lost people to judge lost people? Um, no. If you're saved, if you're born again, you have to judge the lost people. You have to tell them that they are sick and need in, in need of a cure. You're a sinner. Your sickness or your sin has made you sick in God's sight. The cure is Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, oh, we'll just let the Buddhists tell the lost people that or the Muslims or something like that. Uh, no, they don't have the cure. You know, crazy. But let's talk about this, okay? Let's see what, the, how, what this whole passage is really about. It's about hypocritical judgment, okay? That's what it's talking about. Matthew chapter 7, verse 5, Thou hypocrite, look at this, First cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Hmm. So, number one, it's talking about judging between brethren, saved people. But secondly, it's saying... It's not saying you cannot judge. It's saying don't be a hypocrite and judge somebody else. Don't come down on some brother who's, who's messing around and, and you know committed adultery or something like that when you yourself are a porn addict. Know what I mean? Don't come down on some guy that's uh, having a, you know, got drunk one night or whatever else when you yourself get drunk a little bit. On and on and on. Uh, don't come down on somebody for coveting some thing that you wouldn't covet, but yet you covet something else. Uh, that's what it's saying in the text there. That's what it's about. Hypocritical judgment. Don't be a hypocrite when you judge. First get victory over the sin in your life, and then you can cl see clearly to say, hey, I was a pornography addict, and I was. Okay, I've done a lot of studies on this thing and, and how to get out of porn addiction. But how could I tell somebody to get out of porn addiction when I myself am still looking at it? See? But when the Lord helps me to get out of that addiction, and now I can see clearly, now I can say, hey, brother, here's what you need to do. Hey, sister, here's what you need to do to get out of that pornography addiction. Somebody that's an alcoholic, they get away from it. They get victory over that sin. Now they can see clearly to tell somebody else, to counsel somebody else. That's what the passage is about. It has nothing to do with judging lost people. Nothing at all. Matthew chapter 7, verse 6. Another very important verse with this whole thing. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. What a terrible thing. Oh, Brian Denlinger is such a sarcastic guy. He, just, he turns more lost people away than he saves. 
nonsense. People know so much about me. They know more about me than I know about myself. It's funny. But the, oh, he's so sarcastic. What do you think about Jesus Christ right there calling lost people dogs and swine? Jesus. Gentle, meek, mild, happy, smiling Jesus. Uh, you're a dog. You're swine. Hmm. And you get mad at me. Sure. So what I'm saying is Matthew chapter 7 verses 1 through 5 is about judging between brethren. Verse 6 it goes in and says, Give not that which is holy unto dogs, you know, and swine basically. Talking about lost people. Luke chapter 6 verse 37 and 38. Judge not and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive and ye shall be forgiven. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. Yeah. If you're kicking somebody, and you yourself have the same problem, it's going to be a problem. But you know what? The reverse of it is, when you finally get victory over that sin, and now that beams out of your eye, you know, beams out of your eye, and you can see clearly to, to take out the moat out of your brother's eye, Guess what? It's a great blessing to help people get out of the sin that you yourself used to struggle with. That's what the passage is about. It has nothing to do with judging lost people.